guys, Cindy out of here with my artsy endeavors. How are we doing? Um, I am completely discombobulated. Um, I'm in the process of packing so that we can move. Um, I should say I'm in the process of telling my hubs what to pack so we can move. But yet I still want to work on videos. So yeah, I, it's kind of echoey in here. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, but here we are. We're here with my creative year. And this week, um, this month, we're talking about colors. And this week, we are going to work, as you guys know, on the color yellow. Now, here's my red week. That's my red. This is my blue week. And I need to get a piece of paper. Oh, look at there. That works. Oops. Oh, no, that doesn't. That's a folder. Darn. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get a piece of yellow. Give me just a second. Where's our paper? Right down here. All right, so let's find a piece that I think is going to go good with yellow. There's white and black. How about yellow and black? Hmm, maybe. See if anything else shoots my fancy here. Might end up being yellow and black. We'll have to see. Now, like I've told you guys before, and if anybody that's new is, um, I've covered the fronts of these scrapbook papers with clear gesso, so whatever I want to put on them will stick. And guess what? We are going with white and black, to, or yellow and black today. So, um, with the color yellow, we've talked the last couple weeks about how I take the colors and I look at them, um... In, in regards to chronic pain, right? So what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do, I've got this here. This is some deli paper. I actually glued a couple slices of deli paper together and then um, just went over it with this really cool metallic paper. We're going to end up using some of this, but before we do that, I want to get some paint down. Um, so anyways, we're talking about how yellow affects me when it comes to chronic pain. Ooh, that's a lot of yellow. And I think, let's see, let's use, um, let's just use a sponge and see what we can do. I'm going to get some of that off there for one. All right, so yellow, how does it affect me? When I have a yellow day, what's the first thing yellow reminds me of is the sun. The sun shining, beautiful, happy, right? So to me, a yellow day is a good day. It is where I feel pretty good um, now just so you guys know the pain, my pain never goes away it, it's always here but you know just like anything else there's some days you can handle it better and other days when you can't well yellow days are my days where I can handle it I'm like oh this is good I can you know I can I can live with this and that is what I call my normal pain my normal pain runs on a seven scale um, when it gets completely excruciating, that's my 9, 10, and 11 scale. <laughs> um, but uh, yellow is a good day. Yellow means I can go out um, if I need to. I can go do some errands if I need. I can, um, what else? I can usually cook dinner on that day. It may take, you know, a few trips in and out of the kitchen like it normally does because I've got to move my body. I can't just sit, stand, or lay in one position for very long. Um, so, you know, it, it basically a yellow day to me means I can get things done. I can clean the bathrooms. I can, um, you know, uh, make my bed if I have to, change my sheets. I mean, you know, there's things like that. That's what yellow is to me. Now, there's quite a bit of paint right there. And you know what? I'm just going to do this all over. I want to leave the texture. So let's get more texture on here. Why not, right? So yeah, so this is what yellow means to me. Yellow means it's a good day. So let's see how we're going to go ahead and create this page. Um, I am going to fast forward through the process, and we'll chat at the end. So I hope you guys enjoy.
right guys, so here we go. We've got our page for yellow for chronic pain and I love this postcard. I found this a while ago in an antique shop and I just, you know what, this is the feeling of um, <laughs> having the pain kept at bay. And so I just played around. I added some pieces. These I got from Ann Williamson in a Happy Mail. This is just some of that painted paper, uh, deli paper. I did a little bit of journaling, and there it is. There is my day for yellow. Now, on the back side, like I normally do, I am going to do a page, and this is just going to be whatever I decide to put down on it. And it's also going to stick, hopefully, within the yellow theme. I've got some yellow paint left over here, so I'm just going to put it on it, and we're going to play. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will chat with you near the end.
I think I'm pretty well done with this uh, what I'm going to do is just show you what I've done I played around with some washi I played around with some scrap of paper yes I got my one flower <laughs> see his leaves is upside down that's all right I don't mind I just I enjoyed playing with this um, what I wrote on the side is is um, yellow days are wonderful and wonderful and fun and I've got enjoy play smile and love all right, so there we go. We are set up for our yellow. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check, definitely check out what the artists have, other artists have done. Uh, their links you definitely will see on our My Creative page, My Creative Year page. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.